Hi, Nick here, and today we're going to talk about the Loudbox Artist Amp from Fishman. This is a great sort of all-purpose uh, acoustic amp. Of course, you can uh, plug a microphone into it as well for vocals or if you want a mic on your instrument. It has onboard effects. Um, it has a great sort of EQ section that's specifically tuned for you know acoustic instruments and singer-songwriter types. Uh, it has a lot of usable features. Um, it sounds good. The effects sound good. And um, it's powerful enough, I think, to play small gigs with, both indoor and smaller outdoor gigs. It has um, a pretty good throw. It's not going to be quite the same as a full PA system, but it does have a direct out. So if you're at uh, a larger gig, this would be a great amp to take to sort of, um, you know, you could use it as a monitor. Uh, it has great EQ and great effects on it, and then you could just run the uh, direct out to powered speakers or, you know, the PA board or whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the controls and some of the features of the amp, and then I'll do a brief sound demo where I tweak some of the knobs and uh, try out some of the effects. So with that, let's begin. Okay, so I thought I'd just do a quick rundown of the features here. Uh, we have two channels. These are the controls for each channel. And for both channels, it has these nice input jacks where you can either plug in an XLR cable or a quarter inch jack. It's got a button here for a pad. We have gain, EQ section, low, mid, and high. We have this anti-feedback knob, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, I think it's tuned fairly well to help you avoid feedback. You have a phase button. And then we have two effects that you can use on either or both channels. We have effect A, and there's a level here, so you can control the mix of effect A. Now effect A, you can select over here you have two different reverbs, one a little bit uh, bigger room size than the other, and then delay and echo. So with effect B, it just has a little button. There's no um, mix knob. It's either on or it's not. You can turn it on one channel or both channels. Of course, the little button lights up so you can easily see when it's on. And your choices for effect B, you have chorus, one, chorus two, flanger, and slap echo. So it has a nice selection of onboard effects, which is nice um, if you don't want to be taking a pedal board, even a small one, to a gig. The less that you have to carry, the better. Um, but of course, you can also use uh, effects pedals if you have a reverb or a delay or even a looper pedal or something that you want to use. You can just plug it in. I usually um, run my pedals straight into the front of the amp, but it does have effects loops for both channels, which we'll see on the back here in a second. So that's a nice feature as well, especially if you're running effects on your vocals separate from what you're doing on your guitar and you want to use an effects loop for both your vocals and your guitar. Okay, so finally, um, over here, continuing with the effects, on effect B, you have a knob where you can control the depth, and then effect A, you can control the time. Um, time is kind of like room size with the reverb. The more that you turn it clockwise, the bigger the room is, I think. Um, we have an aux level for your auxiliary input. The auxiliary input sounds good. In fact, I've been plugging my turntable into this amp as sort of a way to avoid getting a stereo set up and listening to music through it sounds really good. Uh, of course, for a gig, you're probably just going to use an MP3 player of some sort, maybe plug your phone in. Um, you have a headphone jack on the front, and then you have this couple nice features here, a master volume, which is super nice. So you can set the level on your vocals and your guitar, and then if you find out that it's too loud or too quiet, you can use the master volume to adjust your overall volume. This is really nice if you're playing a gig and um, you find that you need to turn up, you don't have to figure out 
um, the mix between the guitar and the vocals by turning them up individually you can just turn the whole thing up so that's nice um, we have a channel mute which is another nice feature what this does and you can see the lights on is it will mute channels one and two so uh, if you want to go on a set break you press the mute button however the auxiliary input will still work so if again you're going to play music from you know an iPod or something um, you can just hit this turn the iPod on go on your set break uh, we have 24 volt phantom power here it's the red light on I don't really have any 24 volt phantom power mics uh, most of them want 48 but uh, it's a nice feature to have. And finally, over here, we have a tweeter knob, which is actually more like a little trim pot, but that allows you to control the amount of volume going just to the tweeter. And, of course, with acoustic guitar, a lot of these uh, piezo pickups, some of them have too much high end. Um, the Fishman amp overall is tuned pretty well to accommodate acoustic guitar pickups, but if you find that you still have too much and fooling with the high knob isn't doing it for you, you can maybe adjust this tweeter knob a little bit. I usually leave it just a little bit past noon. Okay, so here's the back of the amp. Of course, I don't have the power plug in there, but that's where that goes. Um, I guess quickly I'd point out that this is a good size. It's easy enough for most people to carry and it's loud enough to fill um, a small to maybe even a mid-sized venue certainly not a large concert hall but you do have this nice direct out so if you have a bigger venue you can always um, run it into the board and use the amp as a monitor and it's a nice way to have a little bit of control of your eq from stage through the amp and of course, if you like the effects, you'll have those as well. We've got auxiliary input, both an eighth inch and a quarter inch jack. So like I say, you can plug in your MP3 player or your phone for a set break. We have input here for a foot switch that will let you either uh, mute channels one and two, just you know to have the aux in only, like when you're on set break, or it will uh, let you mute effect B. So in addition to the direct out, it says mix direct out. Uh, that means you get basically everything coming from the amp. You also have individual direct outs for channel one and channel two. So if you have your vocals going into channel one, you can send just that to the board um, and have that processed separately from channel two um, so that the sound engineer can adjust the guitar and vocals as necessary. Kind of hard sometimes to hear from stage what the engineer can hear from out in the audience. So usually a good idea to let them have more control and uh, not get in their hair if you don't have to. Um, we also have independent effects loops for each channel. So another nice feature. Okay, so this is a great amp. Uh, it's really a winner at this price point in terms of the features, uh, the sound quality, and basically just a nice portable acoustic combo amp that's going to serve you well if you're a singer-songwriter, um, if you're doing acoustic fingerstyle, folk, jazz, blues, whatever. Uh, I think this is a great amp to have. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Fishman Loudbox Artist. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.